Coming up on today's edition of the Alabama Football Report, some potential Caleb Downs transfer concerns. What's going on with Coach T. Rob, who is at Georgia, maybe for now. Uh, some more expected coaching hires. Updates on recruiting, both Ryan Williams and Jamie French as well. We will have you covered over the next tumultuous couple of days for Alabama Crimson Tide coaching search. Transfer portal's open for another three-ish weeks, three and a half weeks, basically. So hit that sub button if you haven't already for more free Alabama football YouTube videos. Now let's talk Caleb Downs here. There's been some uh, concern, uh, hope from Georgia fans that Caleb Downs could hit the transfer portal. And I, I would expect in the event Downs hits the portal, he already knows where he's going because, you know, tampering is legal these days. Downs as a true freshman looked like one of the best safeties in college football. He was electric, impactful, dynamic, made a bunch of big plays, had 107 tackles, multiple PBUs. But remember, you're a defensive back. You go to Alabama to be with Nick Saban. And then your defensive backs coach who recruited you to Alabama was your lead recruiter is no longer with the program. And I think a key factor here is Coach t rap or t rap excuse me. Uh, he has left the Alabama program, potentially for now, to take the co-defensive coordinator job at Georgia. That was reported and announced on Saturday. He has also interviewed for the Alabama defensive coordinator job. And on three is reporting he has an offer on the table to be the next Alabama defensive coordinator. It's a matter of where does he want to be. Remember last year's defensive coordinator, Kevin Steele, announced he was, retire was re retiring, and then you know that all got pushed by the wayside because two days later, Nick Saban uh, retires as well. So a lot of moving pieces. The offense mostly settled right now, I think, for Alabama. Uh, the defensive side very much in flux. Saban was a defensive mind. There is no defensive coordinator right now in place for the Crimson Tide. If you can keep Coach T-Rob and reflip him, I guess, a uh, transfer reporter from Bama to Georgia to Bama in a week span, I think that would be a significant deal for your defense. And I think you need something resembling some carryover, some stability uh, on that side of the football. And then keeping Coach T-Rob, promoting him into the D.C. role that we kind of thought was going to be the plan if Nick Saban had returned, I think would make a lot of sense. So what is your concern level over the potential transfer of Caleb Downs? Scale this for me from one to 10. One on the low end, 10 on the high end. It is the pinned comment on today's video. So if the ad comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and go vote. Now the expected coaching hires look like this. You're pretty much set uh, on the offensive side of the football with head coach Kalen DeBoer bringing over some guys from the Diad at Washington. Ryan Grubb is going to be your OC and quarterbacks coach. I do feel kind of bad for Tommy Reese, by the way. Uh, I don't know where he goes now, but that kind of stinks for him. Uh, you know, maybe, oh, you know where he might go? Maybe he goes to the Steve Sarkeesian School for coaches who can't coach good and one other stuff good too. Anyway, Jamarcus Shepard is the wide receivers coach. Scott Huff is the offensive line coach. Nick Sheridan will coach tight ends. Robert Gillespie is going to stay as the running backs coach. Freddie Roach also staying as the D-line coach. Courtney Morgan, this is kind of more, you know, advanced, I'll call it advanced personnel. Uh, he'd be the general manager. Jarrett McElwain is the director of scouting. So the offensive side, stabilized. We're set. We're ready to go. The defensive side, very much more uh, uncertain from that perspective. So we shall see what happens, and we'll keep you guys covered here on the show. Now, today's program is made possible by Prize Picks. Price Picks is daily fantasy made simple, made easy, and I would argue made a little more profitable, at least for your boy here. Here's why I love Price Picks. It's just you against the numbers. You're not battling thousands of play other people. There's no sharps, no pros, etc. Can mix and match sports. No more college football, but you can do NBA and NFL for a few more weeks. The reboot policy keeps your picks in play in the event of injuries, and the flex play I am a huge fan of. Just got to get two out of three right or three out of four or whatever. Lower return, but better chances of being able to win. So go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Link will be in the comment section and the description of today's show. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. 
Some more transfer portal buzz here is, or news, I should probably call it. Amari Nyblak is into the transfer portal after a positive season uh, that producer Chris thought might be even better. He decides to leave the program. We'll see where he uh, ends up going. Uh, Amari Nyblak had 14 games this past year, 20 catches, 327 yards, four scores. In comparison to Jack Westover, the Huskies' top tight end in terms of like the offense is probably going to be simple. Well, it didn't didn't pan out that way in the end for Washington or Alabama. Westover is was a different style of player than Nye Black. I am excited about Caleb Oldham, so I know you're probably a bit disappointed. Some of the uh, the Instagram live stuff that Nye Black was doing didn't rub people the correct way. He also didn't play much against Michigan. He was kind of a non-factor in that game. I think was a bit indicative of what his long-term usage was going to be. So noteworthy personnel loss. You know, not necessarily the end of the world. Now, Ryan Williams, who, of course, was committed to Alabama, reclassified to enroll early, and then decommitted after Nick Saban retired, is still going to visit the Crimson Tide. He has talked to head coach Kalen DeBoer and is set to be on campus next weekend, still take his official visit timing and planning there. Williams is a five-star recruit in this cycle who remains unsigned because he reclassified and Truly couldn't sign uh, earlier. Number nine overall player, the number four receiver, number two from the state of Alabama. But with Saban now decommitting, this went from hey, he's a Bama, you know, pretty solid verbal to this is this is a this is a toss up. Here's what Ryan Williams said on his recruitment: Everything is neck and neck. I need someone to excel and take the throne. That's what I'm looking for. It's an even playing field. So everybody is pretty much there right now. I love Alabama. I was committed there for a year for a reason. They definitely still have a shot. Here's what uh, Williams said on the hiring of head coach Kalen DeBoer. I am very interested in the new hire. Looking at his track record and what he's done with offense and how explosive they were, that's definitely something of interest to me. Uh, I'd love to stay home. He told me that I was a priority for him with the way his offense is set up, and I would fit right in and make plays. The official visits finished or planned. AM on January 12th, LSU on Wednesday, Alabama five days from now. We're filming this on the 15th, of course. Texas, January 27th, of course, they just got Isaiah Bond from Bama. And Auburn gets the final visit on February 3rd. They still need a quarterback. They should probably go after uh, uh, Will Rogers pretty hard there. But where do you think Ryan Williams ends up signing? Sound off for me in the comment section with where you think Williams ends up right now, whether that's Bama or somebody else. Also make note that another five-star wide receiver has decommitted from the Crimson Tide for next year's class, Jamie French, two F's in his name correct there, by the way. He has decommitted from Alabama. We'll see what happens here. I think for if you're Kalen DeBoer, you kind of got to deal with the current stuff right now, and then you'll have time to revisit the 2025 class and potentially get into reflip back to you. He is a five-star recruit in next year's cycle. He's number 11 overall, the number three wide receiver, the number two from the state of Florida. Looking ahead to the future, not so much this year where you're trying to keep guys in right now, Washington never dominated the recruiting ranks. Also, they're Washington. Are they supposed to? No, not really. Recruiting has been something Bama has always been, number one or number two in. There's a chance that changes in 2025. So how, do, how does Kalen DeBoer handle and, and dominate recruiting in a not the same way, but in a close enough way that Nick Saban once did? So do you trust him in the recruiting side of things? Why for yes and for no, sound off in the comments.